Hello, I'm Kimberly Walston and welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about the possible link between cell phone use and the decrease in the honeybee population, as well as a lung transplant recipient that received a fatal lung from a 30-year smoker. In spite of industry claims to the contrary, it seems that cell phone towers may be contributing to the demise of the honeybee population, according to a study published in the journal Current Science. As you may or may not know, honeybees are tremendously important to our world, pollinating some of the most important food crops. In fact, Einstein famously said that the end of the honeybee would be the end of the world. And now we're being shown that electropollution of the environment has led to adverse effects on honeybee behavior and biology because these insects have magnetite in their bodies that helps them navigate. This study conclusively shows that hives located closer to cell phone towers produce far less honey. Like most environmental matters, this is not black and white. And the decreased population of honeybees is probably due to a multitude of factors, like pesticides, disease, and habitat loss. But if we could find a way to lead a more natural life, maybe these factors would be diminished. In other news, it appears that the healthcare system has let down another patient, this time with fatal results. The British Transplant Office is facing heated criticism from family members of a woman who died after receiving the lungs of a 30-year smoker. The 28-year-old Lindsay Scott received the transplant to replace her failing lungs in January 2009 and died just six months later of pneumonia. While doctors claim that this has nothing to do with the history of the donor, the fact that it was a disease so often affecting smokers has her family skeptical, wondering if these quacks had any idea what they were putting into this poor woman. The biggest issue for the family is that no one was told about the surgery, so it wasn't even their decision to make. They claim that Scott would have been very against a transplant, had she known. That's why we always say that if you're going to see these healthcare professionals, make sure you never try to be a good patient. You have to speak out and ask questions at every turn, or who knows what will end up happening. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.